afternoon baseball here on the show. Ought to be a good one here between the tropics and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. It's baseball. It's the show. And it comes your way next. Felix Pena gets the starting nod for the Halos. Dan Plezak, what do you got? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. In his last three starts, he has a whip of over 1.50. Lots of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Into the box now, number 14, as he begins this one as the fourth leading hitter in the American League. This guy's having a really good year for his age, but this is something we've seen a lot lately. Young players coming up and impacting a lineup. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. And a great day for baseball here, 81 degrees at first pitch. Line towards center field. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. And now the Angels will have his terrific speed to contend with at first, right out of the chute. That second, the center fielder. Mike. Now at the plate, Mike Diddy, first at bat for him as he enters play third in the American League batting race. This guy can do just about everything when he's in the lineup. In the top five in the league in runs scored, and he's a big part of this offense. So there's more to this guy than just swinging the bat. He can get on base, too. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Waiting on it is Goodwin. And that's the first out of the inning. That is third. The first baseman, number 13. Now in the box, number 13. And he's a strong candidate for Rookie of the Year honors. If he can avoid a collapse here in the final months, it's been a great first campaign in the big leagues for him so far. Tried to crush that ball, and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Ready with the one and two. Runners going. Pitch inside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Good steal of second there, and that really sets up the middle of this order to drive in a run and break this scoreless ball game. Always great if you can score first early in the game. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Now a swing and a fly ball. On the run is Goodwin, but no chance to run it down. It's a foul ball. Mm, just low with the slider there. That's ball three. You would think in this situation, maybe with a base open, he'd just pitch around them and put him on first. But not with the guy in the on-deck circle. He's going to attack this hitter. And he takes a big swing here, but this winds up a little tapper to the left of the mound. And there are two away now. In now, Jim Cowboy, and he comes into this one really slumping. The numbers there over the past several games, not very pretty. Here's the two and two. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left, no chance at bringing this one back. Gone! It's a two-run shot to straightaway left. Number 13 for him on the year as it's now a 2-0 ball game. Love the homer in the top of the first inning. Give your pitcher a chance to kind of regroup and gather himself with an early lead. Standing in, Brian Mendel, as we run you the numbers to see the splits between July and August. Fastball swung on and grounded out towards second. Scooped up. They'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning. 
But two come across to score in the inning, courtesy of this two run home run. On to the bottom of the first. Michigan is on top here, two to nothing. Number 99 gets the assignment for the rubber match in this series. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, it wasn't a great performance in his last start, but he did pitch well enough to earn the win. We'll see if he can turn in a little bit better performance in this one. At the plate, Andrelton Simmons. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2 1 home is in there for the second strike. I got to count 2 and 2. High and deep to right center. Long run for the right fielder, but he can't make the play as it finds the outfield grass. This is exactly what you want to do when you've gone down by two runs. Answer the bell. So he leads off the next inning and gets them going with a double. Now if they can scratch a run or two across this inning, they'll be right back in this one. Pulls this one in the air out to left. Number eight is there, and he makes the catch for the out. And the runner, not tagging, will retreat to second base. That is third. The center fielder. Mike Trout. Now with the plate, Mike Trout. First appearance for him here with the leadoff man still at second and one gone now. The 1-1 home. Grounded down the third baseline. And this gets past him at third as it hugs the line. A fair ball. As he arrives at second without a play, as they also push across his score to make it a one-run game. Already their second double of this first inning, guys. Yeah, he's not fooling anybody so far, Bat. Like you said, that's the second double he's given up here. And if he doesn't get things figured out, it's going to be a real short outing. In now, Anthony Rendon. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. Back up the middle. He's right there. Throw gets him. Two down. There's Tommy LaStella now, having a very nice year. Currently second in the American League in batting average entering play. One and two now. Here comes the one and two. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. Here's the one two. And a good fastball swung on and missed for strike three. And the inning is over. One for the. Settling in now, number eight. And as you take a look at the splits here, he's actually better against right handed pitching this season. 1-1. One, one. Strike three on a pitch in the dirt. Up with it, Stasi. And the throw is there to record the first down. Striding in, Scott Conger. A couple of hits for him in four trips to the plate last night. Hit hard on the ground towards second, and that finds its way through for a base hit. The third baseman. Casey. Sliding into the box, Tom Casey, and he's really been feeling it at the plate the last week or so. Definitely one player to keep your eye on right now. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. He might still be thrown off from that first inning, guys. He got knocked around pretty good, and that can be hard to recover from mentally sometimes. To two and two now. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Count remains two and two. Now a throw over, and the runner will get back standing. 
Conger stands at first with one out. Rounded back up the middle to second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the end. Ready now, Garrett Cooper. He carries the eighth best average in the American League entering play. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. And set up behind the plate is Ricky Holiday, as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. Yeah, Dan, we got Ricky Holiday behind the dish tonight. I can't figure his zone out. He doesn't favor the hitter or the pitcher and can be a little too inconsistent at times. D-Roy, you hit the nail right on the head. I think one of the things we're looking for, we're looking for a consistent zone. If it's a tight zone, it's a high zone, have the same zone. His zone fluctuates a little bit too much for my liking during the course of a game. So bases are empty here with two gone, and the catcher, Max Stassi, will be the next to bat. Ball and two strikes to the Angels catcher. Got him to chase after the curveball below the zone there. That was a really nice pitch. And it can be a really tough one to lay off of as a hitter. Slow little grounder left side. Throw on to first gets him and the side is retired. Angels are gone in order. They still trail it here two to one. Digging in, Goldie Dirtbag, and he'll start out their half of the third, top of the order to follow. The 2-2. And he fouls this one off. Now a pitch runs in on him here, and all he can do is flare one foul off to the right side. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. Line towards center field. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So a leadoff single will be the start to their half of the third. Now batting. Number 14. Standing in now, number 14. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Clearly trying to control the running game with the slide step here. Yeah, that's a good way of trying to control the running game. Matt. The problem with it, though, it has a tendency to throw your command off because you're worrying about that runner on base. And another throw over. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Count even at two and two. From the belt, the pitch pulled toward right center field. Trout comes on now, and he has it one down. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Mike Diddy. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Maddie. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. To two balls and two strikes now. Throw over to first, and he's back standing. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. Got to execute a good pitch right here. Runner at first is probably going to be on the move, and you got one nope. of the better hitters on their team up at the plate. And he lays off here. A nice job. It's ball four. First and now second now with one away. Stepping up now, number 13. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. The 1 1 home. Runners are at first and second with one away. Lays off two and two now. A 
line shot to third base. Now that designated hitter. Yeah. Ready to take his hacks Cowboy. again, Jim Cowboy, as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. The last at bat, Matty D. We heard this guy's a good fastball hitter. He got a fastball and didn't miss it. We'll see if they pitch him a little bit differently this time and mix in some off-speed pitches. And this one runs in on him as he can't get his arms extended. A great pitch there, and the inning is over. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and next it'll be the outfielder, Michael Hermosillo. The 1 1 home. Now a ball swung on and heading for the stands in right, and that'll move the count to 1 and 2 now. And another foul ball. The 1 2. Hey, that fastball caught too much of the plate on an 0-2 count. Hit softly down the line at first, but this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Two and two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him, so we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Conger moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for at number one. So with one away in the inning, we'll give you a look at the current standings entering play. As you can see that these guys have a pretty good stranglehold on the division to this point. So there's the first out here in the Angels third and standing in one of the best two strike hitters in baseball Andrelton Simmons struck him out. Well it's still early but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the well, win if this keeps up two. as we take a look Second at the league leaders thing. in games won this season and as you see he's right up there among league leaders in that department. Bases are empty here with two men out. Sliced hard but foul. Look out over there. Two out lightning definitely applies to this offense. If this two hole hitter can get on they could start something serious. Chopped toward the second baseman. Reined in. Throw to first will get him easily and the side is retired. Angels go down one two three. They're down two one. Ready for another chance. Brian Mendel. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. High fly ball out to straightaway center. And this will be pulled in just in front of the warning track for the first out. Now batting. Number eight. Standing in. Number eight. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The one two. Oh, that's him. And now we see a right hander up and throwing in the angel bullpen. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Good eye okay. to lay off the slider there and he works it to full three and two here. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter but I think he'll be careful here shoot for the corner and if you miss and you walk him so what that's better than him putting one in the seats and I'm sure the manager is just fine with that I mean it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving one up or he can really hurt you the one one hit hard towards center and a dive but it rattles in and out of the glove now a long throw to third. 
Well, he was definitely struggling coming into this one, but I think we can say that cold streak is officially over. That's his second hit of the game, and it goes for extra bases. We'll see now if this game proves to be a huge turning point for him. Looks as though the decision makers in the dugout will give him a free pass to first. So the bases are loaded here on the intentional walk. And the force play is now in order. Well, they felt it was better to take the bat out of the hands of a guy like that. He's just too dangerous. And they decided they'll take their chances with the next guy in the lineup. Working for the punch out and the offering. Bases are loaded with only one out. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. What we're seeing here is a really smart at bat. They got to be thinking the man on the mound is getting a little short on gas, so when you go up there and make him throw a bunch of pitches, you're more likely to get a good pitch to hit or at least force him out of the game. And it's times like these that a pitcher feels awfully lonely. I can see why he didn't want to be too aggressive. Last thing he wants to do is give up a grand slam to a dangerous hitter, but walking in a run is painful too and here he is again still with the bases loaded on his way toward the mound now is skipper Joe Madden and we're going to have a pitching change as that's going to be off for his starter this afternoon so he will curiously make his way to the dugout after what has to be considered a very brief appearance Julio Tehran answers the call from the pen here in the fourth as they didn't get the outing they were hoping for from the starter Now the 2-1 pitch. These guys hitting aren't in first place by accident. They excel at getting out to early lead, so this is a big moment in this game. If they're able to lengthen this lead any more in this inning, they're going to be in really good shape to come away with a win today. On the first, and talk about doing the job out of the bullpen. One batter, two outs, and the inning is over. So one run, one hit, no errors, and two men left stranded. On now to the bottom half of inning number four. Michigan is on top three to one. Welcome back to Anaheim as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the Angels offense with their manager between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up. And he thinks that's going to lead to more offense yep, for them as this game goes on. All right, Heidi, thank you. And he'll stay alive here as this is chopped foul at the plate. It'll remain one and two. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. This has not been a weekend to remember for him. He's just been completely no, lost at the plate, no, flailing all over the place. Anthony. Now that's his sixth strikeout of the series. They've really got him figured out. A ball and two strikes now. Now a swing and a little bouncer softly hit to the right side of the mound. And that's the second out. Two gone now for the Angels in the fourth, and that'll bring in Tommy Lastella to bat next. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Three to one is our score here in inning number four. Pops this one up. Casey is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Angels are gone in order. They still trail it here three to one. Digging in the switch hitter Mike Diddy as the switch hitter will take his cuts left handed here loves hitting left handed off of right handed pitchers hitting over 300 against right handed pitching and the fifth inning will start with a ground out one away. Digging in once again, number 13, 0 for 2 here to start the afternoon. The 3 1. 
It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And it's a foul ball. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Boy, after that base knock right there, d -roll, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you're getting a knock every day of the week, you're doing things right. He's keeping that front shoulder tucked, staying inside the ball, not trying to do too much. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Back in standing. The 2-1 home is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. That's exactly the pitch you don't want to be chasing in these situations. He's going to keep that ball down below the hollow of the knee, try and get you to ground into a double play. You have to set your sights at least belt high. The second for one, relay to first in time, and just like that, this side is retired. Now for the Angels, Garrett Cooper. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. So this has been another fine outing for him this afternoon as we check out the league leaders in ERA. And as you can see there, he currently sits third in the AL in that category. So digging in now, Brian Goodwin. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 1 and 2 now as that one's fouled off. 3 to 1 our score as we play inning number 5. Lays off the one two changeup and he's worked it back to two and two. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. Hey I'm not sure what he was sitting on right there. He might have been sitting on an off speed pitch but instead he gets the fastball way late had no chance to put that ball in play. Swing and a miss on the fastball and it's one and two. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it. Even a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Three up, three down, three strikeouts. Not too shabby. More to come on the show Sunday Baseball after this. So striding in, Brian Mendel. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Real ugly 0-1 swing there. As a pitcher, you've got to be hunting for the strikeout knowing you have this guy way off balance. He'll try again, one, two. Low with a fastball that time. Two balls and two strikes. And this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non-competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. A bouncer to the left side. Simmons is there. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now back. Number Ready eight. once again, number eight. 0 for 1 with a run scored thus far. Oh, had him off stride that time, and it's one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. That's a good take on a fastball out of the zone. Hey, I get it. He's looking for a ball to drive, but that ball was a little bit too far up in the zone. That's one you normally pop right up. Count full, three balls and two strikes. We're in the sixth inning here in a three to one ball game. And he chased it in the dirt. Up with it, Stasi. Makes the throw to first, two down. 
the right field. Digging in, Scott Ponder. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last AB. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. And the throw is in time. It's a strikeout, and the play at first goes 2-3 to three for good measure as the inning is over. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Michael Hermosillo. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Sent on the ground out to second, and that's the first out. So now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons. The 2-2. Hit well down the left field line, but back into the crowd foul. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. And he popped him up. Dirt bag into shallow center. He gets there, and that's the second out. The batter number 22. At the plate, Second David base Fletcher, base. 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And, oh, did he stay with that? He did, but it was ugly looking. Angels go down 1, 2, 3. Score holds, it's 3 to 1. set for the start of the inning and that'll give way to the third baseman Tom Casey hit out towards second fielded cleanly and the throw to first is in time so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven coming to the plate now Goldie Dirtbag he'll swing it from the left side right here one of the things this guy would like to do from the left side is swing it a little bit better against right-handed pitching. This guy has decent numbers, but not great numbers against right-handed pitchers. Come back. Number 14. So now to the plate, number 14. One ball. And here's a pitch swung on and missed. One and two now. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout has a read on it. Two down. Ready for another shot now. Mike Diddy. Mike Diddy. Hit back up the middle. He's got it. Throw on to second for the force, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here, no errors, one man left on. We'll move on now to the bottom half of the seventh. Get up and stretch. Michigan is out in front, 3-1. to one. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up the outfielder, Mike Trout. The 1-2. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. It's really important to be a second baseman and have some athletic ability. And how about this right here? He goes up high to snag this line drive that was definitely headed to the outfield for a base hit. And digging in next will be Anthony Rendon. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. One and two. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Anthony Rendon becomes the second out of the bottom of the seventh. At the plate, Tommy Lastella. The ball in two strikes. One and two. Now a hard liner towards short. And that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Angels are gone in order. And it remains a 3-1 ball game.
leading off the inning, number 13, as they'll look for some. Slider there gets a swing and miss. Into center field, line drive, base hit. Hey guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. Jim Cowboy will stand in here, but before he does, let's take you back to the very first inning. This was a two-run home run right out of the gate that really got these guys off to a fast start. Got him. Fooled on the pitch as he swings at it in the dirt for strike three. Pretty textbook breaking ball for the punch out right there. Got it to bend a lot, and by the time it got there, it had fallen completely out of the zone. Not much you can do with that pitch. Now at the plate, Brian Mendel. Runner! The 1-1. Pitch misses low. The throw down. It skips in, and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. This catcher's not known for his throwing ability, so you compound that with a big lead at first base, he had no chance to throw that runner out at second. The 2 1 home. Swing and a miss, and they'll dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Classic slider down and away for the strike out there. Not a whole lot to say about that pitch that hasn't been said a million times already. That's just a real tough pitch for a hitter to pick up out of a pitcher's hand. So they end up chasing when they're in protect mode. A 1 1 is strike two swinging. One and two. The 1 2. Line drive to center field. Trout is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Your Nick Dog will come on in now, relief now as he'll make his 10th appearance Dog. of the season. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And here comes the first baseman, Garrett Cooper. Even though we're moving into the back end of this game, they're only down by a couple of runs. You know that old slogan of bloop and a blast? They could certainly use that right now. The next 3 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. It's a bullpen game for them now as we have a look at the starters' final line. It was a really nice day on the mound for him. Hey, what a great job of mixing speeds and mixing up his pitches. Two hits allowed in this one. Dominant performance. At the plate now, Brian Goodwin. High chopper to third. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. Cutting it close here, but he comes through in the eighth to extend his hitting streak. Yeah, and he was staring at his last at bat right there. Probably his last at bat. Would have been tough to get him another A-B in this one, but he's able to get it done. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. One hit in the inning, but that gets erased. Ninth inning coming up. The Tropics lead this one 3-1. to one. Hansel Robles enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. The 2-1. 
smoke toward the hole. He'll get to this one deep in the hole. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Now with the play, Tom Casey. The 2-1 home is taken, ball three. Right-hander starts to loosen out in the bullpen now. And he looks at ball four now. So he's aboard, and you always have to worry about the threat of the steal when he's on base. The batter number three, second baseman, Goldie. Digging in and bag. looking for more, Goldie Dirtbag. He singled his last time up. Now the payoff pitch home is swung on and missed. He got him. Really impressive pitching right there. Sometimes as a pitcher, you can get frustrated when you make a good pitch and you don't get that call from the umpire. But what does he do? He comes back with a good pitch and gets the strike. Bouncer up the middle. That's through for a base hit, his second of the ball game. Boy, this guy is off to some kind of series, and he's one of the better road hitters in all of baseball. Yeah, and some guys just have a knack for lighting it up on the road, getting that good night's sleep and finding a way to get to the yard early and work on their craft. Stepping in now, Mike Diddy. A ball and two strikes now. Well, they've really had an answer for keeping him in check in this series. He's offered very little resistance with the bat in his hand so far. Low grounder to first. Reined in. And the two out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Lady Donnie Big Dog right, takes the ball now in inning number nine, looking to close the door. Donnie. Big Dog. Ready now for L.A., Michael Hermosillo. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Fastball called strike, one and two. This is foul right side. Here's another one, two. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll take this to the bag himself. One gone here in the ninth. So the leadoff man gone to start the top of the ninth as we take a look at league saves leaders entering play. And as you can see there, he currently leads the AL in that department. In now is Andrelton Simmons. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Hard hit ball to second. He's right there. Throw on to first is in time, and the Angels are now down to their final out. Now back. Coming to the plate now, David Fletcher. And he needs to make something happen. They're down to their final out here in the ninth. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. And that'll do it here as the ball game is over. Well, it's almost automatic for this guy. As he puts another game on ice. That save number 40 for the season. Clearly, this guy is one of the best in the game. Three to one, the final score this afternoon. The Tropics with a division best 100 second team win. Number 99 wins his 17th game of the season as he finishes seven innings with only two hits allowed. Felix Pena couldn't escape the fourth inning as he slapped with the loss. Donnie Big Dog hammers down the save his league high 40th of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans, our final line score. First, for the victorious visiting team, three runs on nine hits. No errors. They left 11 men on base. For the Angels, one run.